World Cup edition and this is our final EDP video for the season. In this video, we're going to be covering our build designs, coding, and some of our game strategies. So the first thing we're going to be talking about is our quick load robot. The reason we did so well in World Cup edition is because we used this robot for our strategy. A unique part of our robot that allows us to do so good uh, at Worlds is, uh, is that we can't get illegal loads or DQs in matches while quick loading. And now I'll show you how it's done. So as you can see here, the R will come down unless uh, the bow is contact with my hand. And the R will come down when the bow is through the low station, like this. Our robot uses a one-way claw design for collection. So originally, when we just first designed this uh, flipper robot, we, we made it with a fixed claw. This would allow for easy collection, but there was one problem. The ball would get stuck under the claw and would be and would fall out into the load zone. So to fix this, we we added a one-way claw design. So the claw can open upwards like a box and close back up, scooping the ball and throwing it to our alliance. The claw is connected to a arm, which is then connected to a gearbox with a one-to-one -one gear ratio. And the reason we have we use a one-to-one -one gear ratio is to have as much torque as possible because the arm isn't moving as much when going down into the load station. But what we do, so we don't need that much speed. But what we do need is torque because if the arm doesn't have enough power, then the, it can't pick up the ball. So the reason we can't get any illegal loads is because of our consistent replacement and the code behind it. So as you can see here, there are two distance sensors that will help us lower our call. So this distance sensor will detect when the ball goes rolls in, and this distance sensor will detect when the ball lands in the call and it will throw it back. So the reason we added the distance sensors at the bottom of our robot instead of our top is because at the top, notice that when Harvey puts the ball here, so, uh, so, 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 the robot will automatically lower the claw, so it will cause this illegal load. But then, if we put it on the bottom, then he would have to release it first before the claw went down. So, the reason our arm is reliable and effective is because of two reasons. So, first is an automated timeout, so that when, it, when the claw lowers, and if there is no ball, or that a ball might have rolled out, it'll automatically go up after 0.7 seconds. This prevents us from having to reach down and make our dis our claw go up when it when the robot doesn't work out. So for our second reason, it was that our distance sensor was much more accurate than the average Vex IQ distance sensor. This was because when we were scrolling through some Vex forums, we noticed that the distance sensor would have a 5% chance to be off, reporting a false value. This resulted in our claw randomly going down and coming up after the automatic timeout was reached. This would cause two problems, first being that it was a very high chance for an illegal load to happen, and for our second problem, it was, it was that there was, it was very big waste of time of maybe two or three loads. So we decided to have a higher value than necessary so that way it could compensate for the random distance. So we saved our cycle time by having our by having our unique code so that when the other alliance shoots their balls in the first two balls, we Harvey can already load so that when they're lined up on the other side, we can just throw the ball to them. This will save us around half a second of time, which is approximately one load. One of the strategies that we used at competition that um, really allowed us to have a high average um, was our three ball uh, strategy. We found that um, um, that many teams um, um, could, could only score low goal or couldn't score high goal that uh, consistently. Um, and we um, and most teams um, who had this um, alliance partner would have that team to pick up the ball and pass to them. But we found that. Um, that this um, wouldn't have um, that much of a high score. Um, so in our three ball um, strategy, well, we use our quick load mechanism uh, to pass to our alliance partner um, and and score um, one high goal at the end. Um, 
poor fitting one switch. And even though we won't get all four switches, it's a much more consistent and high scoring strategy. Um, so we can watch this match. Um, so as you can see here, um, our alliance partner picks up on both balls um, and scores them both into the low goal. Um, even though we don't score high goal, um, we still get a much higher score. Um, so now we can rapidly pass the balls into the hogo as you can see here. Um, and um, right now we, we only have two switches um, scored, but, um, but we, we're getting much more um, passes and cycles um, instead of if our lines partner was passing to us. Um, you can see us rapidly passing the balls. Um, and even though their intake might not be quite as uh, efficient um, as other teams, um, we can still get much, much more passes. Um, and as we reach the 15 seconds march, um, we can see um, they'll try to shoot high goal. And as you can see here, the high goal mechanism isn't quite as um, reliable, um, but we still have time left um, to try and score the high goal at the end, as you can see here. And, we can, and we're able to clear all three switches and get um, a score of 100, 190 points. Thank you for Alliance's 47511X, 23761E, 9825E, 11588B, 62628A, 18882F, 34470A, 25201X, 7777BN, 2205A, and last week, 40585A. Thank you for a great season. We'd also like to thank everyone who supported us for our YouTube channel and everyone who supported us throughout the season. And lastly, we want to thank all of our coaches and parents who have made this um, journey possible. We'd also like to, um, to thank all of the volunteers um, and RAC Foundation members for making this event possible. I'm a triple one. Alright, alright. Never mind. Alright. Okay, even if you miss this. Harvey. No, no dinner. See, he, your dad is here. Let's go! I don't care. Oh, no.